it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less, where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you step-by-step -step how you can transform your garage or space within your home into a beautiful event venue, perfect for the holidays, Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's Day, graduations, birthday parties, family reunions, and beyond. So without any further delay, let's get started. So the first step you want to take for uh, turning your garage into an entertainment venue, perfect for Christmas, uh, New Year's, the holidays, birthdays, family reunions, and the list goes on. Uh, the first step you want to take is to clear out your garage as much as possible. Now, if there is a nook or something in your garage that you can store those items in, I highly recommend starting there, but again, you want it as clear as you possibly can. This is a two car garage. I'm not sure um, of the measurements of it. I will tell you that a large truck and a car fits inside of it. So an extended um, cab truck. And when we started to drape it, as you can see, we went around, started placing the bases in place. We use 10 sets of the bases. So once we got the place straight, I started to decorate the tables. We did four round tables, the six foot round tables, and we did 10 chairs per table, and we did use the Shivari chairs. The next thing that I did was I wanted to go ahead and get the napkins in place, and I am using napkin rings from totallydazzled.com. You guys know how much I love them. Their napkin rings are so absolutely beautiful. And oh my goodness, I am already loving the way that this turned out. The centerpiece is from E Favor Mart. If you stay tuned, I'm going to give you a detailed step by step tutorial on how to put it together. So definitely stay tuned for that information. I absolutely love the way that it turned out. You guys know that when I start purchasing centerpieces, I like to pick items that I can use more than once and for more than one occasion. In terms of the draping, we left the door um, that was in to enter in and out of the garage from the house. We left that open and I thought that was really good so that we didn't have to worry about anyone um, having to pull back curtains or trip on curtains or anything of that nature. And we used one of the um, walls in the garage as the accent walls. You can still see the overhead um, garage door um piece and a lot of you guys when I did this before a lot of you were like oh my gosh I cannot believe that's a garage so I definitely wanted to point that out and we also did the food towards the back of the table and I'll show you guys the finished food setup at the end of this video as well so definitely stay tuned to check it out now in terms of the centerpiece I'm going to give you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial I will also link all of the materials that I used down in the description box below so that you can check it out as well
Okay, you guys, so in terms of putting these pieces together, you want to first remove all of the plastic and then you want to um, position the base piece in a way that you could put flowers on the front and on the back. As you work with this, you will figure out really quickly that if you do it the opposite way, it will make one side of it really heavy. And so you wanna make sure that you secure all of those pieces in place. And you wanna also make sure that the screws are all facing the back. Now this is a 26 inch hoop. It is really large. I do love the size of it. I love the fact that I could use it for baby showers, weddings, I could use it for family reunions. I can use florals on the top, on the sides, on the bottoms. I can also cover it in smaller size balloons. I could, there are so many different things you could do with it. You could even turn it into a wreath. They're just, it's, it's very, very multifunctional. And so that is one of the reasons why I wanted to add this in my inventory. I will be using a lot of acrylic for 2023. So again, I will leave all the links to everything that I'm showing here um, down in the description box below. And you guys be sure to check it out. And now we are going to move on to a home tour. And I'm super excited about this because the first thing I wanted the guests to when they arrived, I wanted the garage to really be a welcoming place. And so my client ordered these garage door covers and I also did a welcome sign. So as they entered into the front door, you could see the welcome sign along with the planters i actually found those at big lots and um the custom reefs and all of the pieces now the up lights i t told you guys about before um these are the up lights this was actually daytime as you can see but i wanted you guys to kind of see how effective the up lights were in the house so i didn't want the party just to be in the living room i mean in the garage i wanted it to be throughout the entire home we also decorated his tree using the colors of his home which was the navy blue um, and gold and it just turned out so beautiful and I wanted you guys to kind of see what it looked like as it got darker we had um, some the mantel pieces there as well and the up lights that we placed throughout the home this oversized ornament I got it a couple of years ago um, at a local Christmas shop along with this beautiful centerpiece. I just thought this was so gorgeous. And we did a pencil tree in the corner of his dining room and it kind of all agreed with the existing furniture, which I love. We decided not to set the dining room table just to leave it more open and more free because his kitchen table was completely set. I love the big berries and greenery pieces that were in the centerpiece. It just looks absolutely adorable and it was perfect for the table and if you wanted to set the table it's still a plenty of room for the guests to be able to maneuver now speaking of the pencil christmas tree i added in these led lights you guys these were actually um from the target dollar spot and they were for the 4th of July. They came in red, silver, and blue. And so I thought these were great to put on the Christmas tree. And these little lanterns also added additional light to the tree. So it looks so magical in the space. And I absolutely love the way that the entire tree looked and the way that it turned out. Now next year, he's thinking about adding another pencil tree in the opposite corner. I think that would be a beautiful touch. But again, I love the ornament. I love the way the colors flow together and I love the overall look so you guys think outside of the box during the year if you see things like lanterns and other pieces that you can use at Christmas time definitely go ahead and grab those pieces because they will definitely come in use later now let's get back to the garage you guys and this was kind of the feel for his entire house there was christmas in every bedroom every room every nook every cranny everywhere you look there was christmas and i was just so excited about the way that it turned out i hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for tuning in until next time it's melanie with living luxuriously for less cheers 
And don't forget to tell me in the comments, if you have a garage, would you entertain in your garage? And if so, what holiday or event would you use your garage to entertain for? I definitely love to know that. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. If you want to do more event planning or event design, definitely check out my online school at luxacademy.online. I offer both online and in person classes for individuals that want to start an event planning or event design business. So definitely check us out. I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye-bye.